The world is on fire. A small portion of the world is claiming the rights to what the majority of the world produces every day. We don't like to watch on television that there's like a million starving people in some obscure country. It may land up destroying all of our resources and also the living communities. global warming happen, you know, we're going to be in a situation where this thing that we have disregarded so far, food, because it's plenty of food in the supermarket, is going to be scarce. You always feel, what can I do? I'm all alone. People talk about oneness and I wonder what they're talking about. How do I have to be in order for you to be free? Everything in this world is a part of us, and we're a part of it. There's a source above the everyday thinking that can allow human beings to unite. Something that our heart touches that expands us beyond our own limited selves. And that is the oneness that is taught by our, us, by our old people, always that. There was never a separation. Nosotros somos parte del cosmos, y el cosmos está parte de nosotros. There is only one thing that is moving the ocean and we are like one wave on this infinite, infinite forms of waves. This source that provides intuition is oneness. And I think paradoxically, the notion and the perspective of oneness opens us up to the diversity of things as they are. We are one world, we are one people, we're all indigenous to this planet. So how to collectively wake up? I don't know. We may wake up from a funny dream. A large percentage of the world could decide to do something different. Out of a collective inspiration. The process of change. The process of revolutionizing the society. We have to make the structures of society unwilling to bear separation as a way of approaching things. This reality can change, what would it look like?